Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer May 10th to the 22nd of 2022. It's all 22s today, apparently. <laughs> two-week, May 22nd, 2022. All right. Well, what do we got here? So, oh, they got these things. Uh, I got one of these once, not from Princess Auto. It was a little bit bigger than that one, actually. You could park a car in it, I think. And uh, it was that color, and it only lasted about a year, and then the thing rotted out. The sun was not good on it. They said, you UV resistant. Yeah, they're not. They're garbage. So, anyways, um, this one might be better. Who knows? Maybe they've actually made them better, but uh, I got ours when we got it from Canadian Tire. But um, now they have them where it's kind of like a creamy yellow color. I don't know if it's any better for sun, but anyways, I don't know. So, nice stainless steel folding table. Hey, now that's kind of cool. That's a pretty good deal. And we've got some more straps. I never did go down to get a... There's another on sale again, 1188 That's still not too bad. Uh, I never did get down to get any, but uh, the last sale. But uh, I'm pretty good for straps for right now. Floor jacks. That's a good one, I bet. Aluminum... Dock lift, dock kit, sorry, dock kit, durable and lightweight galvanized. I think you'd go right through that. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering how that works. I don't know. Roof racks, old camping stuff for your poop lines. Oh, poop lines. Two a cart tires, little wee guys. Oh, that's kind of cool. WD 40 pack, pro pack. <laughs> oh, they got the air reel on sale again. That's still a on sale more than what I paid for mine, I think, back in, you know, a few years back. Wow. Normally 200 bucks. Sign up and stay informed. Never miss a sale. Do, 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 do. Ooh, what is that? Maple Leaf wall mount hose hanger. Oh, cool. That's neat. See it. Roll, roll your hose around. It. That's kind of cool. 17 bucks. Probably made in China, of course. Anyways. Uh, pressure tank. Oh, well, some pumps and stuff here. Galvanized steel garden beds. Huh. Well, isn't that neat? Get into everything. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, man. Propane fire pit. Well, I guess you could toast your marshmallows on there and your hot dogs, whatever. Spiker aerators and stuff. I like to get this something like this and use it in the cemetery, but I got all these corner posts and markers with people's names and plot numbers on them, so I can't really use that because it would end up damaging this or damaging them. So, yeah. But anyways, still selling these things. That's good. I guess they're all right behind your ATV. Some chairs. Oh, some heaters. Now they put heaters on sale. Really? Really? 50000 That looks like a big 50000 Normally the 50,000s kind of end here. This would be like an 80,000. Maybe they got a picture of an 80 there. I don't know. Vent fans. Skeeter repellent refill mega pack. Hmm. For something. Oh, probably this thing. Thermosel, thermosel, yeah. Oh, still 60 bucks, eh? Ooh. Dusty pans. Oh, what is that? Oh, paddleboard. Yeah, it'd be so a lot. Not being able to do that. Uh, no. <laughs> My balance would not work with that. Wow, there's a big pack. Durable 600 denier polyester 7 pockets. Wow. Camp and stuff. Oh, look what they got here. Shooting things. Crossman. Man, they've been making stuff for so many years. A lot of years. There's a camp fork for you for cooking your wieners on, your whatever's on. Hex washer screws. Oh, there's all these little packs of things. I love these little things. Self-drilling screw screw kit. Lock nut kit. S-hooks. They got, man, shelves of this different kind of stuff. All these little pack things. Uh, some power fist locks. Some plugs. That's good. Yeah, Ant Be Gone Max. Three pack ant traps. There you go. 
Quick hitch. Gee, that's nice, isn't it? A lot faster hooking things on. But I really don't change attachments a whole lot on the back of my uh, tractors usually, so uh, I never got one of those. But that's kind of neat, though. Middle buster for breaking up soil and digging trenches, forming seed beds. There you go. Holy cow, that's expensive enough, though, isn't it? Must be bigger than what it looks like. It's only category one, though. But okay. Some seats. Oh, there's a whole bunch of those little linchpins. That's a good little pack for 10 bucks. Wow. Wow, that's actually really good. 50 pieces. I think, um, yeah, these ones here, the bigger ones that I use for like the three point inch stuff, they're like almost $4 a piece at TSC here, <laughs> or PV Mart now they call them. So that's a pretty good deal. Tractor seats. Tractor seats. Oh, what are these? Oh, heated water. I keep thinking these are like um, ultrasonic cleaners, but <laughs> they're not. It's a watering trough. Uh, fuel stuff. Fence charging things. Oh, boy. That's kind of neat uh, for mixing your two cycle. Pretty handy. Your source for tarps. Sprayers. Weed sprayers, log splitters. Oh, look at that little bucket. Twenty-three and a half inch. So why wouldn't they make it a an even twenty-four? Now, mind you, if you're digging, by the time you get the bucket up and down a few times, it's probably going to be about twenty-five or six. But still, twenty-three and a half, really. <laughs> Two hundred and sixty-nine dollars. It doesn't say what size of the ears are on it, though. Let's see if it gets any more info here. Digging depth, seven feet. How would they know that? <laughs> Weighs 136 pounds. Stabilizers. Wait a minute. What is Let's give me a landscaping bucket. I don't know what specs they're giving me here, but I don't think it's for this bucket. Towable excavator. Hmm. I'd just like to know what size the pinholes are on it. But anyways. Oh, that's kind of neat. Post pounder. <laughs> Oh, look at this thing. That looks really funny looking, isn't it? Tiller. Towable excavator log rock grapple. Really? It's got to be just this piece here. No, their thing's all messed up today. It's got to be just this here. It wouldn't be all this. It's all grayed out, right? So you still have to have your excavator part here, but... I guess it's this grapple part. $199. Oh, that's kind of cool. A little work wheel roll cart thingy. Huh. Jack's hammer. Hello, Jack. Chain spring clip pliers. Hmm. Interesting. I don't even know what that's for. Pressure washers. You watch, you're going to have this heated pressure washer here. Oh, 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 oh. No, they didn't. I'm surprised. Let's see my own power, portable power station. There's all your cylinders. Hydraulic stuff. Oh, what is that thing? Stunt car. Wow. Huh. Oh, it's some trailer stuff. Springs and fenders and hitchy things. Of course, some jacks. Zip ties. Lighting stuff for your trailer. Hey, now that's a neat little set. 70 piece. Sometimes these are handy too, you know, for different things here and there for wiring and stuff. Tire spoon kit. Huh. I kind of like this thing. For $80? That's, that's cheap. Wow, that's cheap. Powder coated. No, no, no. You'd have to have this screw down to a floor or something. So I probably would. If I got one of these, I'd probably put it uh, in one of my containers, maybe. And screw it to the floor. For four inch to 16 and a half inch tires. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Terminal kit, bunch of tires, 
We have our old tires, bike carrier. Hmm. More trailer RV stuff, hitches and stuff. Water splitter. Seems like a lot of stuff's kind of repeated from the last sale, it looks like. They seem to do that. I mean, they do put different things in, but then you see, like, I'm, I'm sure we've seen this last time. And the lights, I know we commented on the lights. There might be different lights, but, you know. What is this? Five gang LED rocker switches. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some winches. Heavy duty mush, mesh truck bed cargo nets. 40 to 70 ratchet cargo bar. Hmm. Some more winches and hand winches. Well, that's pretty darn cool. Some, some shop tools and stuff and shears and stuff and presses. What size of press is that? 40 ton. Wow. They're getting bigger. I got a 20 ton little hydraulic bottle jack one here. It works pretty good for a press. Don't really use it often, but it's nice to have when you do need it. Bench mount belt sander. Ooh, teeth shining things. No, I'm just kidding. I'm teasing you. Blacksmith punch tool set. Wow, those ever go sharp, eh? Nice. Some more blacksmith stuff here. All different stuff. Rubber mat sold by the foot. Oh, it probably comes in a big roll. Yeah, right on. It's tables and tool bag combos. Organizing your tools and stuff. That's probably about the size of the one we had. All of ours was a little bit more square and then, yeah, pretty much like this. But uh, I don't think it was 20 foot. It might have been like a 12 foot or something. It wasn't massive, huge. Some knee pads. Ooh, there's a nice low profile jack. Look at that one. Wow. Three ton, too. Jack stands. Ramp Dewey's. Ooh, I still want one of these. 9,000 pound. That's actually a drive up on one. That would be nice. I just really have issues maybe about going underneath this vehicle with just, I don't know. And maybe it looks better and maybe it's more stronger looking in person, but it definitely wouldn't be one like you see like at your local oil chain shop or your local garage or something. This thing would probably be pretty pretty chintzy i think i'd be a little leery about going underneath it but anyways maybe it's i guess it's got to pass some kind of safety thing to be sold in, in our country here but vehicle rotator that's kind of neat wow they're getting all kinds of neat stuff there's all your cleaning and shining stuff we don't really look at that too much everybody knows what that's all about more microfiber stuff Keep your car cool. Foaming wash system. Oh, cool. Huh. Seafoam by the big can. Holy smokes. 80 bucks. Whew. Wow, that's that's worth more than gasoline now. <laughs> A lot more. What's uh let's see here. I'm just gonna get my calculator out. Uh let's say $80. And I'm going to round it up to, say, four. That's like 20-odd bucks a liter. <laughs> Holy smokes. Everybody still complains about the price of gas, but, you know, which is fine. But you, know, you look at this, how much per liter? That's crazy. Disc brake piston compressor. U point, sir. U point. <laughs> U joint. Ball joint, U joint. That's what I meant to say. 
Some brake terminals for marine applications, apparently. Some batteries. I don't know anything really about their batteries. They're expensive enough if they're if they're, if they're any good or not or or what. I've never bought a battery from them, so supposed to be battery charging and boosting stuff. What is that? Boat and RV polish. Oh boy. Solar power. Nice. Oh. Why does that look like a like a seven pin trailer hitch? Maybe it is. Uh, trailer plug adapter. Interesting. Hmm. Scanners, some spray stuff, Gorilla Glue. That's actually, I've used that a bit too. That stuff works not too, too bad. They're getting into a lot of different stuff though now, which is good. White glue, clear contact adhesive, wood glue. Workshop supplies, professional grade solvent. Oh, it must be like for parts washers or something. Professional grade, oh boy. Flashpoint, vapor density. Huh. 60 bucks a pail, though. Wow. Oof. Some floor dry stuff and some reggy things for your shop. Electrical parts cleaner. Ooh, trim clad paint. This stuff used to be, uh, I guess it's maybe they've changed their formulas now. It used to be really bad stuff, especially the black. It would start to like go a weird color and like get kind of like a grayish sort of weird tinge to it if it was in the sun. So maybe I, mean, I imagine by now they've probably changed their formulas, but in the old days, that's what it used to do. Re reactionless air ratchet. General impact mechanism eliminates torque reaction and possible finger entrapment. Oh, I see. So if you're up to next to something, you don't into the corner. Ah, yeah, I've done that before. I know what they mean. Impact guns and stuff, air tools, some hoses. Oh, those are neat. Green, green A style couplers. I think I'm an M style kind of guy, and then they have A, which are longer. I don't really know why they ever come up with different ones, but, anyways, it's what we got. Some air stuff. Ooh, nice impact socket set. Deep impact socket set. Three quarter inch drive, though. That's a little bit too big for my stuff. Air compressors. Sand blasting and painting stuff. Nice. I got lots of air tools on this week. Some other little hand tools and stuff. Very nice. Some saw blades. Oh, these are pretty good. These all flap discs. I like them. They do wear out somewhat fairly quick, but they're not too bad. Save on bit sets and more. Twenty-nine piece high speed steel drills. Twenty-nine piece. Twenty-nine piece. Twenty-nine piece. Of course it is. Couldn't add one more size to make it thirty. No, no, no. That wouldn't work. Bunch of little tooly things. That must be some ad stuff. Oh, there you go. Torque wrench. That's all right. Some hand wrenches and stuff. PC threader repair. No, <laughs> PC. 130p, sorry. <laughs> I read that too fast there. Threaded repair coil insert kits. That's like Healy coil things. Pretty handy to have too. Oh, I got this little set here, and it's not terrible too bad. Yeah, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. I think mine did another size too. There's one more die in there. I think I got four. Or maybe there's five of them. Can't remember now. I haven't looked at it for a wee bit. But it works pretty good. Some trowels and some hand plier tools. 80 piece SAE aluminum thread inserts. Oh, that's good. So you can drill it and rethread something. Very nice. Digital laser tachometer. Hardware cloth. Dog tie out. Dogs up to 60 pounds. Yeah, right. <laughs> these little things here, these little grabber things end up ripping out. They're just not really super strong. 
Surplus, surplus, surplus. Wow, dorky batteries. I'm going to call these dorky because they probably are garbage. $2.99 for a 12-pack. It can't be very good. <laughs> Won't last too long, probably. LED strip lights. One-man brake bleeder. Some electronic-y sort of stuff. Oh, these things, I don't know if this one is it, but they used to be like, Bleh! when you use them, they were so loud. Fireplace grate. That's a great little grate, I bet, for 15 bucks. What is that? Phone tablet stand. Okay, gotcha. And I don't know what this oil oil filter wrench. That's a neat little one. It's a self-adjusting. Grips around the thing, I guess. Air conditioners. Oh, boy. We'll be back into that season soon, won't we? Oh, boy. And I think that must be it for our flyer. Sure it is. Well, that is it for your uh, Princess Auto two-week sale flyer, May 10th to May 22nd. I don't know if I really saw anything in there I need, so I probably won't make the trip down. Being the price of fuel right now is so expensive, I think we'll not make any extra trips like that anymore for now, anyways. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and happy shopping. You guys have a good one.